Hello. Yay. Hi. It's World of Wacklecraft. So, um, yeah, it has been busy last few week. So I think because now we have our shiny, shiny new um, Python client with our shiny, shiny, powerful um, Terminus DB 2.0. So we better do some um, like build some new tutorials uh, on those. So uh, inspired by um, a user so uh, who's like um, you know putting some movie data into the graph so I decided to start a project like that as well to um, help people to put you know um, the, the, the movie data into the graph and I think uh, I hope through the process we will learn a thing or two about how to construct a graph and after that we could also put it into practice like uh, in, into you know into action that we could um, you know, maybe get uh, try to make some queries that get some information from the movie graphs. So, um, first of all, I would like to show you that the, the data that we're using today, so that's the most important thing, you need to have data. So, um, what I found is that, uh, I'm sorry about my messy window, so it's this one. I hope you can see it. Yeah, so, um, so you can see that we have uh, this data from cargo. Oh my god, it's super bright. Every time I make it like, you know, uh, yeah, like my screen go really, really bright if it's not in dark mode. So <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. You have to bear with me. And um, yeah, so we have this um, IMDB movie data from cargo. And basically it got uh, 12 columns. So it got um, all these different titles of movies and the genre that they're in. So they, uh, they could be in multiple genres. And a short description about that movie, uh, director, I think it was like most of the time it would be one director. I didn't see like, it's very rare to have like multiple directors. I, I think, yeah, we can just like safely assume there'll be one director in the fame. And actors, of course, there are like many different stars. So I think they are the main cast. So there will be multiple, um, you know, actors in the movie. There will be also the year the movie is released, the runtime. I think that's in minutes because that makes sense. So it's like two or three, like two or three hours of movies and rating as well. So I think that's some uh, ratings by IMDb uh, users and the votes. So, um, yeah, you can see like we can actually use those to uh, <laughs> to kind of uh, maybe find a movie that is actually a good movie to watch afterwards. So uh, there are some columns that's not showing. Oh, revenue, how much money that movie make and meta score as well. So let's see if we can oop. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, met the score. I think there's another like have scoring system for the movie. Um, reference is how much that movie makes. So usually, a good movie would sell quite a lot. But this one doesn't have one. So maybe this one is. Uh, it's a bit funny. Which movie is that? A comedy. Hmm. So yeah. So so it looks like there's some data missing there for that one. So actually, you can skim through this summary. So cargo is very nice. You always have this like summary for the data that you have. So you can see how they are um, ranged. So you can see that like this is the kind of the normal runtime of a movie. So that would be like uh, around yeah, almost like two hours, just uh, slightly shorter than two hours. Uh, rating as well. Those most of them are good votes. Revenue, and I think there's this one that's missing a revenue. Is it? Yeah, there are some that's missing in revenue, and so those yeah, so these two columns are the columns that could be missing some um, data, so that's why I think that's why it was not showing by default. But um, so maybe we maybe we could omit those two columns if we want to. Uh, it doesn't look like they're super super important, and um, so there are like there are a thousand movies there uh, almost, so nine hundred ninety nine unique values, and. Um, yeah, I don't know why this is uh, the title is. Oh, maybe one movie got 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 two 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 um, entries there because it's supposed to be a thousand movies here. That's that's a bit funny. So maybe maybe two movies having the same title <laughs> for some reason. Um, yeah, so they're different. So some of them are actually same cast. That's very interesting. So yeah. 
Okay, so this is uh, our data. So I actually have already downloaded uh, in a CSV format and I've put it in the in in the well in my machine. <laughs> so uh, we will look at that afterwards. So this is. So another thing is like we have we'll have our database running already. So this is uh, in case you haven't seen it, this is our Terminus DB 2.0. This is all mighty powerful, you know, um, uh, graph database that could do Git operations. So you can time travel and all this cool stuff. I have demonstrated last week, so I hope you already knew about it. And uh, we'll actually create a new database by our script. So we won't actually I won't actually create a new database here. So I'll show you later. And so let's go to the coding here. Okay, so wow, this banner is super big. So maybe I, I will show you the cargo data instead. Uh, that you know, uh, maybe let's have a look at the compact. Yeah, so that I think I hope that makes sense. Let's make it bigger if that's uh, easier to see what's in the file. No, it doesn't. Okay, fine. <laughs> okay, so let's go go to the coding. And um, so this is our data. I've downloaded it and it's not showing for some reason. Maybe it's too big. Yeah. Oh my God, it got frozen. Okay. So yeah, maybe I should. Okay. Yeah. So you see that there's a, the CSV is already downloaded. It's in a very flat, flat, flat uh, CSV format there. And now I have my uh, my empty script here. So so in case you're new to uh, Waco and Waco Pi, so I'm using the Python client, by the way. So this is this will be written in Python because I love Python. I'm a Pythonister. I can proud. I I love to proudly say that because I'm I'm taking pride of that. So usually what we have gotta do we gotta import the, the the client. So oh by the way, if you have used uh, the previous version of Waco, you, we have changed things a bit. So now we have named our client properly. So it's Terminus DB. Uh, so the when you install it, pip install it, it's Terminus DB hyphen client. But when you import it, it's terminus db, uh, so it's underscore client because uh, hyphen is not allowed in uh, in when you import a script in Python, so it's underscore. So actually, I don't want to import the whole terminus db client because they're, they include stuff that I don't want to use. So I will just uh, from there import. Uh, we have Waco client and Waco uh, query. So that's the two things that we want to. So I just like use the shorthand here. Yeah, so this should be a lowercase l here, right? So that's the two things that we need. And um, obviously we want to read that CSV. So I am lazy, so I've got to use pandas. Yeah, you can use the CSV uh, standard library if you want to, but I'm just like so used to pandas and I love it. So I got to use it. And so first of all, uh, I think what I got to do is that um, I got to read the, uh, read the data. I gotta build a schema first. So always, always build a schema first. So I actually just uh, just build a schema before loading the data. So maybe I would, um, yeah, maybe I would. That's just how we usually do things. Like we would write a functions that read um, that create a schema and write a functions that load in the data. So I would have a uh, create schema um, functions. In this function, I would actually have a um, client that we're gonna need when we execute uh, the scripts. Okay, so and so, but like, uh, what I gotta do is like, okay, I, I'm just gonna make the skeleton of the whole thing, so it's easier to to to, to uh, do stuff afterwards. So, and this will be um, loading data. So again, I need the client for that. So maybe I will also need to have the, the the file name of the CSV. Okay, so maybe like that for now. And then I gotta uh, create a database, like I said before. So, um, so I will see how how things go today. So maybe like today we'll write a little bit of schema, but maybe we may not have time to go through the loading data bit. But uh, first of all, we have to create a database. So. First of all, we need to create a client. So a client will be a, a Waco client. Uh, so there's there's some changes to this new uh, Python client. So um, first of all, we need to have a um, a server for this client because each client is unique to a server. So uh, if you have multiple instances of uh, Terminus DB database, you may have one locally, you may have one that's host on the cloud. Uh, then you have to create two clients for that. Uh, if that's uh, your use case, 
So uh, usually we connect to the our local host, but I forgot the <laughs> I forgot about the the the, the uh, what what is it? So let me yeah we'll uh, connect to the local host six three six three. It's just local host. I thought I have to put in the 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 the, uh, the name of you know the you know one one two seven something something that you know I I always forget. So um so we yeah we have to create a client with a connection to a um a uh, you know a URL of a database okay so afterwards we want to do a connection so um, so let's do so again I gotta cheat <laughs> I gotta copy the, the code because I am not very good at remembering things so let's go to here to see our script so uh, oh this is the old script for some reason. This is master, but I think I've merged. Oh, I know why I have an update master. So bear with me for a second. Yeah, that's my bad. So git. Yeah, uh, upstream. Yeah, it hasn't been updated. So yeah, right. Okay, so I put it. So this should now show the new new script if I kind of close it. Uh, yeah, why is it not showing the new script for me? That's strange. And create old. Yeah, merge uh, git pool upstream master. So it should be updated. And uh, let me see. Yeah, it's not updated for some reason. Just give me one second. I have to think about that for a sec. Yeah, why it's not reflecting the change here in my tutorial. So um, let me grab save and I want to close this one. But usually it do a bit fine. So why it doesn't uh, do that? Maybe I'll just change the branch. Okay, I gave up. I <laughs> just changed the branch that I know that should have the new script here. Yeah. Okay. So uh, yeah, it should be in master for some reason, uh, and I don't know why it's uh, it's not showing. I may investigate afterwards, but actually the new script is here. Um, so yeah, I got a yeah. So the server URL is, is the same, but uh, when I connect it, I need to uh, put in three things. I need to put in the root of your database and uh, the account. So for a local host, it will always be your admin. And user will always be at mean as well, so I gotta put that in here, right? Okay, so and um, what I gotta do is I wanna create a database, so create database. And with this create database, I need to put in the um, the, the, the the ID of the database and the the label and description, so. Uh, so yeah, you can also do this. This is like in case your database already exists, but I just got to create a database for now. So you need a, um, so you need a DB ID, uh, an account ID. And uh, yeah, so account ID is important because you will have different, uh, you know, a capability of, uh, of like what you can do depending on your account. So uh, for local host is not that uh, big of a deal, but like when later when we have hub that you could actually do this cool stuff online that you could, um, you know, access to a shared database and that, that one would be crucial to have. So now uh, you just put a mean that's okay. So DBID would be, so what, what sh how should I call it? And um, actually I would put DBID here as well because we want to do that, need to checking things there. Uh, so. I'm gonna put it back here to DBID. So I would just call it movie graph, maybe. Yeah, so I'm just gonna put it here. And um, I can't do, I mean, it's fine. So this one would be um, IMDB movie graph. Uh, or maybe graph of movies data. Description will be, um, yeah, creating it well uh, and uh, creating a graph with the IMDb movies data. Right. And actually, uh, you could also put in your um, custom commit message. But, uh, yeah, but I think it's okay for now because, like, usually we just generate 
hey, uh, a, 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 it, uh, you know, it will create actually create uh, your your graph like that is um, you know instance graph, and also there will be a schema graph that's created. So you can actually put in this a, a schema graph yourself uh, if you want to, but I'll just let it do the automatically thing. So if you just like stay with default, do automatic things, then you just need the, an account ID, a label, and description. Okay. Uh, of of course DBID, but that I put it outside. And then now we do this uh, checking checking things. I just copy from here, so um, I can check whether a, a database already exists. Then if it exists, then just don't create another graph for me. So I gotta do this. Actually, I I think I should uh, maybe wrap that in the functions that is like uh, you know that it doesn't duplicate things. So. Yeah, so basically it's just like uh, for the client, it would just like uh, go there and grab the metadata for us. And uh, client.uid is just a user ID, so it will be admin, but uh, you can just grab it this way as well. So it will grab the uh, metadata for that database for you. And it will check, uh, you know, whether this uh, DBID is, is in there. If it's in there, then it will uh, have, you know, loaded in existing. So. That's why they will become true when it's uh, exist. So otherwise, it will be no or false. And um, so I gotta gotta do this hacky thing again. If not, then we gotta just, oh actually not existing yet. That's correct. So so ah click clicking the wrong thing. So if it's not existing, then um. Yeah, then I gotta create a new uh, database. If it uh, exists, then I would just connect. Uh, yeah, DBID, I believe. Uh, I can't remember. My memory is so like so bad. It's like a goldfish. Yeah, DB, and then it will set it to DBID. So yeah. Oh, I think I, th I thought DB is a uh, is is a. Uh, I gotta double check later because I thought. The, uh, DB is, uh, you know, I set it as a property, so you can just basically just set it, but it seems not, so I gotta just call this function, yeah, I, I, I'm not very happy with, like, how these things work, actually, and so I may do some changes afterwards, I have a DB ID here, yeah, I don't understand why this is not a setter, like, you know, I, why I can't do this, right, so it should, it should be, uh, yeah, it should be more, like, this I think I think this is better, right? You write a setter to assign DVID to it, rather than like this. Or I can, or I should change the name to this to set DB. So yeah, it's uh, I have to check the code of the client because I don't really like that, and I may change that uh, in the next um, recursion. So and. Um, yeah, sorry, I'm also like checking, like uh, I'm now changing my perspective to a user. So see what things I like, what things I don't like. And um, yeah, and I think like this, I don't like this that, you know, if it's a setter, then like it, this sh it should be more clear that it's a setter. So I really don't like that. So maybe I would change that bit. Yeah, yeah, I should separate the two. You sh you sh yeah, it shouldn't be the same function. It should either be, you know, a a property setter or just a setter, but uh, yeah, I don't like that. So, right, and now, and what I gotta do is that um, I gotta, okay, I have created the database, so I gotta create the schema now, so now I should be calling create schema, and put in the client there, okay, so that's what I should do. Right, so the client is ready, the database is ready, so yeah, then I can do that. Okay, so let's write this uh, create schema function here. So um, what we gotta do is that uh, look. So let's let's look have a look at the data again, and so I'm thinking for because each row is kind of a movie, so I would create obviously create a movie object with all these um, different properties. So for these properties, uh, for example, the year, runtime, and rating, those uh, those are just simple data types. Those are just numbers, so I don't have to worry about them. I think what I gotta do is that um, for actors, I have to create uh, maybe a, an object that is a person. So that person could be an actor or a director, and um, and then uh, you know, 
for descriptions, then that's this is just text. I don't need to create a special thing. And genre could also be a uh, a special object that I create because it means something. Uh, title could just be text. It's fine. Okay, so there's three objects we need to create, right? We need we need to create a movie, a person, and a genre. Okay, so let's uh, let's create that. So let's go to the code here. So I'll do Waco query um, the doc type. Okay, so let's create those three things. So first of all, I would create a um I would create a uh, movie. Okay, so movie or movie object would be equals to the doc type. So I would call that a movie. And um, so now doc type you can put in label and property there. So I actually I, I quite like this um, this design. So a label would be movie and a movie. Maybe I would uh, movie title. So the, actually the, the, the name would be the title and the description would be the actual description. That's convenient. Now let's do it that way. So um, I would have a description. Would be just a movie description. Short uh, movie short description. Okay, so that's that. And then we would have, so these actually will have more property, but we can add it later. We can change the script and add them later. And um, so we gotta have, what else we gotta have? We gotta have persons, so oop, object and Waco query. You know, by the way, this is all blind, right? You can see that I'm struggling because I haven't, I have a, you know, a, a a uh, basic idea of what I gotta do, but I haven't really like practiced before. So this is all live coding, blind live coding. I hope uh, you like this. I don't know whether like people like this or um, uh, watching people live coding. I, I I like watching people live coding actually. So um, the so person would be so person. <laughs> it's very simple naming. So this one would be the name. Oop. And description. I don't have a description for that person. I don't know much about this person because uh, from a database, I can't say if this is a good actor or a bad actor, so I can't really say. Or I can actually put in whether this, I could actually put in if this is a actor or director, but the tricky bit is that the same person could be an actor of this movie and a director of the second of a different movie, right? Because some people are very talented, that actually they can do both things. So I would just omit that. Just omit that for now. And there's a typo there that would cause an error afterwards, which I'm not a big fan of. So another thing would be genre. Uh, why am I having capital? Genre. How to spell that? Oh my god! Suddenly forgot. Like G E N E R G E N E R E. Okay, I'm very bad with spelling, by the way. Uh, gen genre. Genre. Okay. Object. Equals to Waco query doc type, and this will be genre. I don't think this is English. It sounds more like French or other things to me. Okay, so uh, would be a label, a genre of a movie, so name of the person. Okay, so maybe being more specific here. Right, okay, so we have these three um, doc types, and uh, for the movie, we would actually have some other properties, so we gotta add them in for now. So, what I gotta do is that actually I could, uh, so I could add some comments here, actually. So this is creating um, a doc, you know, uh, objects. Yeah, so and then here I would be uh, object types actually. This is doc type, so yeah. Object doc types, maybe, yeah. I don't know. Naming is like difficult for me as well. So this will be um, adding property. So here I can be movie object. I could add property there.
Actually, like, I do like assign it back to self. I don't think that's necessary from what, uh, from our design right now, but I really like assigning it back to itself. So I think that makes more sense. Okay, so um, I'll add a property there. So what property I gotta add? So of course, a movie will have the director and the actor. So I gotta add a, a director there. And director, the domain, uh, or the domain is movie, but like the range would be a person there. So I hope that's correct. I may have some syntax error. I need to double check. So this will be a label. Would be the. Oops. Oh, actually, I can add it here. So, yeah. Right. Okay. So I don't know why this is capitalized. And then I could also have a. So I do believe this make uh, lets you break into several lines, and maybe not. I'll let the linter do this dirty job for me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I do think it's like this. Yeah. Then I can break it into multiple lines. Uh, I think. Yeah. Then this works. Okay. But anyway, the linter will do my dirty job for me anyway, so <laughs> it's fine probably. Yeah. I remember to close it. And um, yeah, not P property, and it is uh, so it would be the actors. Actually, like uh, I have, I can have multiple actor in the graph because I didn't set the cardinality to one. So, but that's fine. I, I won't limit any of these because sometimes you know you have multiple directors and most of the time multiple act uh, actors. So. Cast of the movie. Okay. Or I can name this cast actually. Yeah. Because it's the cast of the movie, so it's, it's they are actors. So, yeah, slightly different naming thing. So, uh, other properties will be duration. Right. Let me let me check like what they call it. Uh, year runtime. Yes, year runtime. So maybe I'll do it year first and put in as an integer for now I think uh, XSD uh, integer yeah and label would be year of release yeah and then runtime also SSD um, integer. Yeah, I think year could be a, a specific date thing, but I would just put integer for now because it's only a year. It doesn't have like the, the, the date and month and other things. So I think it makes more sense that way. So that would be the runtime of the movie. So description would be equals to oop description yeah it equals to um, runtime of the movie in minutes okay so maybe I'll just run time here this is a bit too long here cast uh, cast in the move uh, cast of the movie yeah that's fine. Yeah, okay. And dot property. What else do we have? I think we do have a little bit more ratings. Yeah, ra ratings and votes. I will just leave the second two for now because I just want to find some good movie to watch. So those are not necessarily important. So rank, is it like the, how popular the, the movie is? So maybe rank, we can put it there as well. Or, or we can just like use the... The votes as an indicator, so we don't need the rank, okay? We can arrange them in that. So rating and votes, that's the last two things that we want, okay? Um, ratings would... Rating. The XSD integer as well, so I just got to copy and paste. 
little thing. The label would be uh, rating. So I can actually have description as well. So I, I can say like what is, you know, the best, what is the worst in there. So let's have a look at our data there. So rating, so let's look at rating. Hey, come on. Rating, 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 there. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, it's not showing where, oh, yeah, rating. So yeah, use a rating for the movie zero to 10, right? So that's the, uh, yeah. Yeah, zero to 10, so I guess 10 is the best. So uh, dot property, and then we will have, actually it's just gonna copy the whole thing because it's gonna be the same thing over and over again. So this would be votes. So this would be a, um, let's go to vote and we're gonna have a look. Um, <laughs> right. Yeah, votes, number of votes. So it's just votes from the, I think it's for the, from the user. So label would be votes and description would be number of votes. Okay, right, we have uh, created the schema kind of, and um, yeah, so this is the person, oh, we forgot the genre, is it, yeah, <laughs> oopsie, property, and oops, what are you doing here, okay, I just gotta, you know what, I just gotta, um, yeah, copy this uh, cast thing, because it's gotta be a genre there, so, Oopsie. Genre, I gotta be, let's call that movie genre. Cause like we already have genre there, so we gotta have a um, different name for that genre. And label would be genre of the movie. Yeah, mm-hmm. Okay, I think, I think that's it. Let's double check. Okay, let's let's try to execute this one. So what you'll do is like return. Actually, I don't have to return anything. So I just gotta run a um. So I just gotta make a waku query dot n and then put all these three things in there. Um. So movie object and a um. Yeah. By the way, like when you wrap it in n, actually this whole query would be um. Uh, send to the back end and execute. So the back end will execute all these, um, all this, uh, you know, query in a, um, a, in this asynchronous way. So you can see that like movie things actually call this person in genre, but like, it doesn't matter the order here, as long as you wrap it in N, but you can't have like three separate. So they have to have dot execute all at once. You can wrap them in N and the order doesn't matter within N, but if you, uh, call the execute separately, then make sure you already have these two things in before you call the move, uh, movie object because um, because like uh, otherwise they will give you a violation there uh, which is an error so you don't want that so execute yep and I'll put in the client here so okay so it seems like we are kind of ready to run this script so let's try that out see if we can create a schema for today. So let's try that out by running. So clear first, it's a bit messy here. So what I gotta do is that I gotta do a Python Oops. and movie stator. Oh, I'm not in that. So I gotta, maybe I gotta add, yeah, I have to get into the directory first because otherwise, uh, well, now it's fine, but like when I load in the data, then it may cause me a problem. So um, Python movies. Okay, there's a, oh, sorry, it's a, yeah, it's a Waco N. I always forgot. Because, yeah, that's, that's the, the thing difference between the Python and the JavaScript client. That in the, because Python use N as a keyword, so I, I can't have a function name and. Right. So, yeah, it seems like it's executing something. So, and soon we would have our um, graphs in our uh, graph database. Oops. 
what's going on. And express a keyword label. Oh, I spelled it wrong, sorry. <laughs> My bad. Yeah. Label. Right. Let's try that again. Yeah, this time it's faster because it's not creating a new database here. And oh, again, another spelling mistake. Yeah. Okay, that's that's easy to fix. Right. Type method is not iterable. So what's going on here? Huh. So this time the bug is uh, deeper down, as in Waco and. So what's wrong? With that, so here I have these three objects, and um, so maybe let's let me have a check. Uh, argument of type method is not iterable. Yeah, so this is uh, this may be something related to the Python client, and uh, I may actually find a bug here, <laughs> and. Yeah, which is good things because like actually just before I go live, I was doing some debugging and um, I think it may be some more work to do and we got to hopefully patch it like uh, release a patch today as well. So uh, if I found it now, it's probably going to be in the patch today. So uh, that's good. And um, yeah. Or maybe it's just me being silly. So I, I may actually have a look uh, offline to see. But uh, yeah. So so maybe like, let me let me try another thing. Let me try to remove this uh, movie objects because I may make some silly bugs there. Which, oh, wait a second. Why well, there's two movie objects here? That's super strange. Oh, maybe that's why. So um, yeah, let me, let me change that. And remove the movie object and see what's going on here. Right. Okay. Yeah, so that's the problem in movie objects. So maybe because I was calling the wrong thing. So now it works. So let's have a look what we have now and we'll run the script again. So oh, my databases. Yeah, we uh, we have to refresh. Wait one second. And. Yeah, we do have an extra. Uh, movie graph data here so yep and there is no commit yet oh there's two yeah there's two commit and um you can see that we have you know um have a client message create graph and an update query so my query actually does update so um yeah so it does do something so let's have a look we should have two object here and yes we it does so what I gotta do now is that I gotta um, I gotta change this. So I gotta time travel as if nothing happened. And yeah, okay. So yep. So now if I go back to so are you yeah I hope you're seeing my uh, my browser all right. So let me go back to like so yeah there's there's no schema now because I gotta load it in again right so. Yeah, now, yeah, now it should be just, and, yeah. Okay, so let's try to load that in again. And uh, I'm going to, you know, go to my terminal, uh, no, go to my code. And i got to put the movie back to see if that works. Um, movie objects there. And now, actually, I gotta add a commit message, so it's not just like update message from something, something. So I just gotta be um, generic building schema for the movie graph. Okay. Right. So let's try this again, and go to my terminal and run this again. Right. And um, yeah, it. It is coming back, so it must be something with uh, this property thing, or maybe oh, maybe it's this one, is it? Yeah, sorry, I don't know why there is that is there, and mm -hmm -hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. yeah, maybe it's that thing. So let's try again. Okay, right, 
now it's fine because like I was just having a typo there so good 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 so it's not a bug and um, let's look at our graph now what's going on here and yeah now we have like a blue schema for the movie graphs here and uh, let's schema and have a look right so now we have three objects and for the properties we have a um so yeah we have all this domain that you know the cast of the movie the director of movie genre of the movie runtime votes and year of release so it looks great okay so we have created our schema so what we gotta do because like now time is running a bit short i don't think we gotta load in the data within the next 15 minutes so what i gotta do i gotta leave it for next week and we gotta load in the data and um yeah, and what we're going to do is that after that, we would uh, create some queries. So to try to put it in application to see uh, whether I can find a very good movie to watch and maybe a, a good movie with my favorite actors in there to watch as well. So, um, yeah, so maybe like a little uh, some like a search, you know, engine simulator or something like that. Uh, just a small one. But uh, yeah, so I'll leave you with this today. And um, we will have more fun next week with Waco. And I will go back to work on the Python client a little bit more because um, we are adding some new features as well, hopefully ne next week. So yeah, time to back to that. And I will see you next week. Bye.